Well, Hazy, we love it when we have a guest come in studio, and it was a massive BBL for our next guest. Peter Hadzoglu is the MEGT SEN Big Bash Nation Rookie of the Year for his work with the Melbourne Renegades, and he joins us live in the Lumo Energy Studio. Pete, thanks for stopping by, and congratulations. Thanks, boys. Thanks for having me. Just having a chat to you about your story um, off air and the move to Adelaide. Take us through that, and um, it sort of evolved pretty quickly for you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's come a long way pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, I left Melbourne uh, in, the, uh, in the depth of lockdown and there was no cricket happening there. So I sort of, uh, along with my brother, came up, uh, came up to Adelaide, the great state, and, and started playing my cricket here. And I suppose I sort of thought, um, you know, maybe, maybe that was uh, potentially, you know, the end of my possibilities mm. with Victoria, um, having sort of jump shipped and and come over here to South Australia. But, uh, yeah, things work in a funny way, and, and here I am now. Well, mate, you've had a brilliant summer. We'll take you on board, and we're happy to have you locked in now. Um, just, I've got to admit, I don't know too many um, Hatzoglus. Take us through, uh, I suppose, your heritage, and have you got any nicknames or anything? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, a few nicknames, I suppose. And, and my, my heritage is Greek, obvious, or not obviously, maybe, but, yeah, Greek heritage. And, um uh, I suppose just the classic uh, migrant story of you know the, the Greeks and the Italians and the Europeans coming over here in the in the sixties. Um, uh, nicknames as as for nicknames, not none to do with my surname actually. So oh, really? <laughs> yeah, funnily <laughs> enough. So yeah, pistol I suppose. A pistol is a good one. Yeah. That, 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 That's a good strong name. That for is a Peter. good cricket nickname. <laughs> hey, so you you've come out here. You you've set up to play some district cricket at Prospect. Yep. Then you get the call from the Renegades. Was it? out of the blue that shocked you and of course you jumped at the chance yeah uh, pretty much out of the blue so what what actually happened for me to get into the the um the renegades team was cam boyce unfortunately had a had a heart issue um and imran to here um had some issues getting over to australia with uh with covid so i mean yeah very fortunate to have to have mm. even gotten into or got, got a call up to the side so pretty amazing it's a good story of someone who's really taken an opportunity um, in terms of the step up to the BBL, what was it like? How much uh, different was it? Yeah, uh, look, I mean, when, when you're playing against international superstars, I suppose, um, it's always going to be a step up. I, I, all I had in my mind at the time was, look, um, once, you, once you step over the line, I suppose, it's just a regular game of cricket. And I think what worked in favour for me was because I'm a little bit different with my bowling style, I, I sort of bowl faster leggies. Um, which is yeah different different to the uh, the conventional you know Shane Moore and big mm. big turners. Um, I I always felt I had the element of surprise in in my favour. So in terms of that, then who would I mean growing up, who would you be watching more tape of? Someone like Shane Warne or someone like maybe Anil Kumble? Yeah, that's that's the obvious comparison I suppose. Um, with with Anil Kumble, look, any Australian league spinner is going to grow up watching Shane Warne, yeah. and and actually for for a long time I um I tried to emulate him. Uh, bowling slower, big, big turning leg spinners, and and maybe that was um, one of the reasons why I never quite made it through the pathway system, um, and sort of got overlooked all the time. I was I was trying to do something that was one very difficult. Not many people can bowl like Shane Warne. Naturally, no one can really bowl like <laughs> Shane Warne. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. So so as I sort of did that as a junior, it didn't really work out, and then I sort of turned you know eighteen, uh, finished my school, and and I figured right, I'm just gonna. Um, just do do what I want here, I suppose, and, and bowl fast and bowl into the wicket and slide them on and, and swing them a bit as well. So uh, that all sort of worked in my favour, I suppose. Has the great man been any help? Have you met Shane Warne? Has he offered any advice? I've, I've not met him uh, in person. He's he's. I, I remember when I was young, I, I used to watch, there's this one uh, YouTube tutorial that's out there. It would have been oh, some, uh, maybe in the 90s or the early 2000s. Um, he released this video and, and Tanvir Sanger, the other um, sort of, leg spinning sensation in, in the big bash, I suppose this year, he, um, he quoted Shane Warne in this video as well. And, and this one video, um, I suppose along with his, uh, I impressive, you know, record playing mm. at test level, I suppose, inspired, inspired a generation of leg spinners, I guess. Right. Yeah. Well, 13 games, you picked up seven wickets, best bowling of three for 43. Um, are you locked in for next year? Have they signed you up again? Uh, yeah, we're still, we're still in talks, I guess. Um, I, I'm, yeah, keen on playing at the Renegades, but, um, it's been a, it's been a whirlwind, I suppose. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not uh, rushing in, into any decisions, and, and the guidance I've been given is just to sit on it and mm. and reflect and and sort of consume it and start negotiating. If not the renegades, then I mean you're in a good spot because other teams are going to start calling. Yeah, look, uh, I mean, 
Uh, I've got to be careful with what I say here, yeah. I guess. Pump <laughs> <laughs> no, yourself up, sell yeah. it. No, no, but look, I, I loved my time at the Renegades. Had a, had a, had an amazing season, and, and upon reflection, I, like it's just wow, really. I mean, what what other word can you use to explain it? So, well, yeah. what, what we will say is that uh, we're biased here at uh, SCNSA, and we we'll just feel like in the BBL next year you might look good in blue. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, they got the one decent, they got, Brisbane Heat. They, <laughs> <laughs> they got one decent spinner, but he's unreliable. He just flies home, and we don't know when he's going to come back. So hopefully Rashid's back. But we could see you in blue. Speaking of playing cricket in South Australia, do you have ambitions to play for the Redbacks and at different levels? Yeah, look, I'm um, I'm hoping to get a game for uh, for South Australia in the in the one day as first of all um, that are, that are coming up on the 26th of February and and yeah and then from there I'd, I'd love to play Shield cricket. I I see myself as a Red Bull. Uh, bowl and, and I mean the ultimate ambition is to to play Test cricket one day. Uh, you mentioned you moved over to here. What's what's Adelaide like? Is it as um, sleepy as probably Melbourne people think it is? Oh, it's brilliant, mate. I, I reckon <laughs> the weather's great. You got the beach twenty minutes, uh, you know, one side of you, and then you got yeah. the hills on the other side. So it's a pretty amazing city. Well, Pete, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for stopping by, mate. So you've got the two thousand dollar check. It's a massive one. Um, you're going to have to struggle to take that home. Might need to put <laughs> it in the boot. But it's thanks to MEGT, Australia's largest and only national apprenticeship network provider. You can join forces with the best in the business. Call them now on one three six nine six three MEG. Your local apprenticeship experts. I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of you, my friend. I hope so. <laughs> Peter Hadzoglu joining us. He is the MEGT SEN Big Bash Nation Rookie of the Year.